Hi, I'm Tom, and in this video I want to show you this. The tiny, matter-enabled dishwasher emulator that I've built. I wanted to see how appliances work with matter, but I didn't want to rush out and spend hundreds of pounds buying a new appliance just so I could mess around with it. That is why I decided to create this tiny dishwasher. If you're interested in learning more about the matter of smart home protocol, then this video is for you. Now, as I've said, this is only an emulator, so there's no actual water or dishes involved. Rather, it just mimics the behavior of a dishwasher. You can turn it on and off, choose different programs, and even start and stop it. We'll start by taking a close look at the device itself, and then take a look at how it can be controlled by matter. The case itself is made from foam board, and inside there's a horrible nest of wires and a little breadboard. On the front there's two push buttons and a rotary encoder and on the top we have a very small OLED display. If I push the button on the left the display will turn on and it'll indicate the current status and the current program. If I rotate the dial on the front it'll switch through the various programs. We've got a chef 70 degree and a quick 45 degree. And if I push the button here on the right, the program will actually start. You can see it's now running and we get a countdown. Now, just like a real dishwasher, it'll move through various phases whilst it's running. So we've now jumped into the main wash program and that will cycle through now we're in the rinse. And like a real dishwasher, if I push the start button again, it'll actually pause the program and that will remain where it was. The timer will freeze. And if I push the button again, it'll resume the program and that will essentially count down until it has finished. We can now see that it has stopped. So that's the device itself. Now let's take a look at how it works with Matter. The device itself implements the Matter a dishwasher device type, so it can be controlled by any matter controller. However, commercial controllers such as the Cara's M100 Hub, despite being matter 1.4 certified, have very, very limited support for appliances at this time. I've already paired this little device with my Acara M100 Hub, and as you can see on the dashboard, its support is very limited. So if I jump into the dishwasher, all I'm actually able to do is control the status, so I can pause it, resume it, and I can see the current status. And that's it, so it's very, very limited. Fortunately, Home Assistance Matter integration fares much better. We can see the current mode. We're also able to control the, the status with the start and stop. We're able to control the power to switch the display, or switch the device on and off. And then down here, we can also see the current phase and the operational state. This works really well with the actual device and I'd like to demonstrate that. So here we have Home Assistant uh, overlaid with the display that's on top of the tiny dishwasher. And you can see here we've got We've got the mode up here, and if I change the mode, we should see that change. Um, ignore those ampersands, there's a little bit of a buffer overflow or an overrun in my code. But I can also then change that to quick 45, and that's displayed on top of the device. You can also see the operational state down here, mirrors the stop, and we've got the current phases pre-soak. So if I now click start, we can actually see that running. I can pause it, I can resume it, and if I let that tick, the value down here should change. So now we've switched, we've seen that's moved on, this is running, I finally can stop it, and then I can turn off the display. All that's missing from the Home Assistant integration right now is the countdown time, but there's actually, as of me recording this, there is a pull request open to merge that in. So hopefully we'll see that in Home Assistant very soon. 
So what's next for this little project? Now I have my own tiny matter appliance. I want to learn more about matter's energy management with the goal of building my own energy management system. Energy management was added as part of matter 1.4 but it hasn't really been adopted in any commercial devices at this point. This part of the Matter protocol describes an energy manager system, which can be used to control various different Matter appliances. For example, it might delay the start of your washing machine if it knows there's going to be cheap electricity later on during the day, or it could even switch on your water heater if there's currently uh, a surplus coming from your solar PV. It could also react to grid events like demand side response where there may be an abundance of you know wind generated power and it would like to just switch on all manner of appliances in your home to try to consume that power. Ultimately I'd like to make a few more of these tiny appliances like a tiny water heater maybe a washing machine, an EV charger, maybe even a heat pump. And then I would like to try and build my own energy management system. Lots of learning and experimenting coming over the next couple of months. All the code for my tiny dishwasher is up on GitHub and I'll add a link to the description. I've also written a massive blog post which goes into great detail about how I built the tiny dishwasher and I'll include a link to that too. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. And if you're interested in this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing. Otherwise, that's it. I'm Tom, and thanks for watching.